Good morning. Hi, Wendy. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Excellent. Thank you. Do you did you get my little email this morning about um, having either massage balls or a roller? Yeah. Um. You know, I have a like a plastic roller. That's probably too much, though, isn't it? The no, hard roll. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, it's really no, a, that's a, like a heat tenderizer. I'll go get it. <laughs> oh well, you decide if it's going to hurt you or not. <laughs> I'll bring it in, and then I, I have. If you a, like it, if the other option is, um, oh, I think uh, is a couple balls that you put into a sock. Oh, okay. Yeah, I better get something else. <laughs> Or you don't have to use anything if you want to not stress about it. It doesn't really matter. I have a few good options. Morning, baby. Oh, good. Okay. And I just like little toys. Wait, yeah. yoga toys. <laughs> good, morning, Wendy. good morning. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. I have my glasses I've on never... too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't. I know. Yeah, I'm uh... so we all have our glasses on at the beginning. <laughs> That's true. And then we, it's funny, I, I don't like depending on them when I wear my glasses. I find I trip over things and stuff. Yeah. The, the kinesthetic awareness throws yeah. me off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to warm up a little on our own. It's going to be a little freestyle. We still have about five minutes. Okay. Uh, you can use any props or no props if you don't want to stress about it. Um, I would say grab a strap today. We're still, we got some time, but it's good you come early and just give yourself some time. I love it. When I take class, I try, I try to come 15 minutes early yeah. just so I can stretch the muscles I want to focus on without any distractions. I agree. Yeah, it's hard too though sometimes, I know. My daughter is dancing. Oh, she just did a BA. <laughs> Thank you, Logan. <sighs> the joys. Hi, Andrea. I see you. I'm gonna mute. Yeah, I'm gonna mute you all in a few minutes, in about four minutes. Just welcoming. Yeah, you can mute though. That's good. Hi, Marsha. Hi there. Where am I? Nice to see you. Hi, honey. Hi. My swimming buddy. Oh, yeah. That was great yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, really nice. So we're going to start. We still have four minutes. Uh, water, a strap, and something that makes you feel good. So if if I'm suggesting the balls, or you could put the lemons or limes in a sock, or if you prefer a block, just something to massage out where you're tight. And it, again, it behind your back, your neck. Whatever feels right for you, if you want to just lay on the mat, not stress about props, but I do recommend you have water nearby. It's good to drink a lot of water and hydrate. Are you getting on? Yeah. Okay. You, you and I, I'll, I'll mute you all in a little bit, so don't worry about if you're hearing other people. I, I'll take care of that. I just want to say hi for now. Welcome. Hi, Wendy. Good morning. Good morning. So, we're, do you have your water bottle nearby? <laughs> I know. You, uh, for, no, for I your... ordered a foam thing, but it isn't going to come for another week or two. Oh well. Yeah, then you don't need anything. Don't worry. But we're going to kind of start any way you want. We're going to take a few mo moments of freestyle. 
So if you just want to lay on your back and rock, if you want to use, I have a couple of balls. I've used limes or lemons in a sock to mm -hmm. massage behind my neck. Um, books are great if you want a little prop. This is all about you feeling good. So we're just going to take a few minutes. At, we're, when I teach in San Rafael at the studio, we, we take almost 10 full minutes. I play nice music and I just talk about the breath and let everyone do freestyle. I'm a big believer, as you know, in freestyle um, so that you can hone in on the areas that are tight. So we have one minute. I'm going to mute everybody now. I, welcome, welcome. Just It's better sound quality, I know, when I mute everybody. Hi, Tim. Hi, Lorenzo. I see you all, even when, though you try to hide. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Hi, Pam. Pam Scott. Yay. <laughs> Glad you made it. You go, girl. So we're going to take a few minutes doing um, either the roller, if you like the roller, if you want to do handstands or forward bends, we're going to just take a couple minutes a freestyle. So welcome everybody. I have, you can put two balls in a sock and tie a knot and massage on your back. So we're going to try to loosen up. If some of you are feeling super hyper, do whatever inspires you. Okay. So I'm here to inspire you to listen to your own body. Um, I de definitely recommend music. You can play hardcore music. I have a Spotify playlist. You can listen, follow me on Spotify. I make a playlist for each class. So we're just going to relax just for a few minutes here, really let out any tightness. Um, uh, I'll suggest, but if you want to do push-ups, you do push-ups or plank, but I'm going to suggest maybe on your back. If you don't have any props, it doesn't matter. You don't need props, but I do recommend you have water and a strap nearby. Welcome everybody, happy Monday. So we're going to close our eyes and just start to connect with our own body wherever you're at. So I'm showing that I have some balls under here. You could put them under your lower back. This is freestyle, just for a few minutes, okay? If you want to, if you have a little roller and you want to roll out your back, I'm just going to ask that you close your eyes and let your body be your guide. Just have fun. Okay, so this is four more minutes of you deep breathing, listening to your body. If you know you're tight in an IT band, Take this opportunity to massage it out on the mat or to roll it out. Just have three more minutes, total freestyle. Welcome. We have people from all over the United States. I don't think anyone from Europe right now, but we often do. Deep, deep breathing. This is total freestyle. You're closing your eyes. You might be on your back. I, I often start on the back just so that you have a chance to center your own body. See if you can follow your inhale and exhale. Hi, Tim. Hi, Cassandra. Casey, I didn't know that's your real name. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Deep breathing. Welcome, Claire. So we're just doing a couple minutes, one more minute of total freestyle, either with your massage balls or a roller. 
closing our eyes, listening to our breath. Deep breaths right into that heart chakra. Nice. And again, I do recommend playing some tunes that you really like that help you connect with your body. Some of you, it might be rock and roll. I make a pretty mellow yoga playlist, but if you like something more active, pumping, that's the beauty of you using your own music. I actually like it better. And you can always fast forward through songs if you don't like them. So I'm going to invite you all to start in Supta Baddha Konasana. If you prefer to keep doing the freestyle, you can. So that's feet together, knees open, it's an adductor stretch. Let's just ground ourselves one hand on our heart, one right below the belly button. And just close your eyes and take a moment to feel the rise and fall of the chest. Letting go of all thoughts. Being present right now, right here, in this moment. Maybe you feel your pulse. See if you can soften the facial muscles. Just let yourself have a moment to drop in. Deeper breaths. Expand the lungs. And today, let's connect with having faith or hope. Just handing it over to a higher place, higher source, whatever it is you believe to let go of some of the stress in your life, especially right now. I know it's so hard for so many people. Let's hand it over to a higher place, higher source. You can stay here or gently lift the pelvis off the ground. So the whole class, I'm going to invite you to come back inside your body. You can make it any level you like, as hard or easy as you like. Good, if you can, lift the pelvis a little higher, feeling the back side of the body. Once you know what we're doing, come back to closing your eyes, lifting higher, or just relaxing. So we're all being present in our own body. Good time for audible exhale, open the mouth. Ah, just let it go. Let yourself be here. Instead of in the news or somewhere else in the future or past, just be here, release down. Let's pull the knees in towards the chest. Open wide, flex the feet. Now close your eyes. I want you to massage the lower back, the sacrum into the mat. Rock side to side. Again, audible exhale. So we're gonna make ourselves feel good, okay? We're gonna work hard if you wanna work hard, or we're just gonna relax. So whatever feels right for you, I'm going to give some core options. First core option, lowering and lifting the legs. Hands behind the lower back. So if some of you are here because you have had a rough weekend, it's hard to even know what a weekend is anymore, right? The days pretty much merge unless you're working. Um, I want you guys to just keep rolling out your back. Listen to yourself. For those of you that want intense core, lowering and lifting, try to slow it down and make it harder. If you need a little modification, one leg at a time. Good. Come back inside your body. Open your mouth. We really try to connect with the breath. Deep, deep breathing. Nice. 
see if you can feel what you're doing rather than just going through the motions feel a connection with the core if you are choosing the core 10 seconds beautiful you guys nice and let's all bend the knees for bridge come on up nice and high squeeze through the glutes interlace the hands behind the back once you know what we're doing could just let the neck and head be centered and try to push through the heels so that you're pushing the weight up into the shoulders open the mouth make it feel good so feel what you're doing as you squeeze up so we're firing up the glutes the back side of the body open the mouth breathe nice you can stay here or squeeze and open squeeze and open nice always modifying you don't want to hurt your knees if you need to change the foot position do so deep breaths everybody right into the heart chakra again you can always work at your own level join us whenever you like but i ask that you close your eyes come back inside your own body feel what you're doing let's all release down and happy baby nice we'll hold the feet into the hands now if that's a really hard reach for you that's okay hold behind the thighs just massage out the back you can bend or lengthen the legs. Beautiful. Lift the head rough with the body. Feel what you're doing. I really want you to navigate inside the internal body and try to help the muscles release by using your body weight by pushing in to the tight areas. Really feeling. Where am I tight? How do I need to twist a little or rock? Maybe the neck needs to rock. Open the mouth. I want you to breathe it out. That's it. Beautiful, you guys. So for those of you that are tight today, just stay with this if you like, or yoga bicycle. I'm a big core believer. Helps with posture, circulation, digestion. So if you are choosing the core, I want you to slow it down just a little and try to feel the connection with the muscles you're working. So it's a mind-body connection here. You can make this as easy or as hard as you like. If you want to speed it up, do so, but close your eyes again and feel what you're doing. Feel the muscles. Everyone breathing, beautiful. Stay with yourself. Don't abandon. 10 seconds here. We always get a reward after we work hard. Good. And let's bring both knees to the right, arms to the left. Stretch it out. Audible exhale. If this twist feels a little too intense, if you have a pillow or block, you can always put it under that right knee so it. It's not so intense. You decide what feels right for you. Nice. Feel that twist. And we're going to open the left shoulder as we stay in this twist. Again, we're going to close our eyes. We're going to reach and circle. If there's somewhere that comes along that feels like, oh, my armpit is so tight, stay there and feel the stretch. Breathe into it. So you're circling that left arm. Pausing whenever you like. Nice, we have a nice big turnout today. Claire's here. Sally, nice to see you. Beautiful, Beverly, Andrea, Mark. Tracy, beautiful. Let's circle the arm the other way. And don't hesitate to just stop if there's somewhere that feels really tight. Make it feel good for you. Good, let's bend both elbows, hands behind the head. So the left elbow is reaching towards the mat. So we're in a twist. It should feel good. Let that left leg be heavy on the right. Nice, if you're tight and you just wanna stay here and surrender, do so. 
or oblique work, left elbow up to left knee. So level one, maybe you just come up a little, you can push off on the mat, on the right elbow. Level two, you guys can lift the legs. If you wanna take it even further, level three, you can straighten those legs. This is quite advanced. You just go with what feels right for you. Just want to twist, just stay relaxed. Find your breath. If I teach you anything, it's to breathe. If you learn nothing else, that would make me feel so good. Nice, last one. And let's all bring the right foot out from underneath the left leg. Put the right foot on top of the left. Both knees are still to the right, they're still bent. Crawl that left foot, the top one here, the left foot back a little, the top leg. Right, and reach the arms back to the left. So we're still twisting the legs to the right. We haven't changed, arms to the left. Just breathe it out. And this is a good time to open up that heart chakra. Deep breaths right into the heart. See if you can maybe push the pelvis a little forward and back. And if you're ready, we'll roll to the spine. Right foot stays right where it is, pigeon on our back. So the right foot's over the left. If you've had knee issues, this is a pigeon you can always choose instead of on your knee in front if it's too much on your knees. Good, again, if, if you need a little extra help so you're not straining, it's all about relaxing you guys. So if you're straining to do pigeon here, then you need to grab a strap. Maybe put it around that left leg. And let's massage out our backs. Make this feel phenomenal for you. Closing your eyes, come back inside your body. Feel the areas where you are tight and see if you can roll or lean into them and help the body open. Nice, if some of you want more, you can do a small crunch, just an option, or just stay in pigeon. If you want level two more, extend the left leg and then crunch. So everyone listening to their own body. One day you might find you do every single thing and the next day you may find that you just want to do the stretching. That's okay. It's more important that you listen to what you need. Nice. Find your breath, everybody. Audible exhales. Beautiful, you guys. Keeping my eye on you. Nice, Tim. Breathe it out. Stay connected wherever you are. Nice, last one, let's all bend the left foot. Right foot stays on top, half bridge. So we're gonna come on up, lift the pelvis. Right foot is over the left. We haven't changed. I try to keep it really um, smooth in my transitions. When we switch legs, I will always let you know. Good, squeeze on up through the glutes, push through the arm bones, beautiful. Line up your neck straight. Try not to look at the screen once you know what we're doing. Otherwise, you'll hurt your neck. Let's drop and lift. Drop and lift. Open that right knee. Another option is extend the right leg, either up or at a diagonal. So we're isolating the left glute. Beautiful. Breathe it out. Deep breathing. Try to come up a little bit higher. The weight is in the left heel. That's it. Last two. Great job, everybody. Hang in there. Last one. Hold it, hold it, hold it. We're going to eagle the right leg all the way over the left. Okay? 
If you can, you wrap the toes behind. If you can't, that's okay. Just let the leg go. Doesn't matter. We'll gently pull the knees in and rock side to side. Massaging the back. I'm just going to offer another core option. Before we do that, let's all eagle the right arm under the left. Nice, so if you just want the stretch, you can just stay here or a little crunch. Open the mouth. Connect with your body. Beautiful, you guys. Stay with it yourself. Try using the audible exhale like an accordion. Again, we're squeezing the abs together as we come up. Powerful inhales, deeper breaths. Challenge yourself here. Nice. And now we release the right leg off the left, drop both knees to the left, arms to the right. Nice, everybody. Okay, good time to moan and groan right here. Reach those arms. Let me hear you in this twist. Let it go. Closing your eyes, stretch your arms. Let yourself be in your body. You might tilt or lean, lean or wiggle into some tight area. Let's open up the hands. And this time we're gonna circle the right arm. Hopefully you have enough space here. I hope you all had a great weekend. I'm sure you all went to some good parties, Zoom parties, right? <laughs> Not quite the same as a real party, but Okay, let's circle the other way. See if you can take in some deeper breaths. Again, if you're tight somewhere, allow your body to pause. So we're listening to our own body instead of just going through emotion of circling, we're actually feeling inside the body. Good. And then we'll gently bend the elbows, hands behind the head. So we just feel this twist for a moment. Deep breath. Oops, I accidentally touched my face. Uh-oh. Hopefully my hands are clean. <laughs> Isn't that weird? How Are you all like that? Now when you touch your face, you're like, oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Here in the comfort of my own home, feeling that. You can feel that beautiful twist. Deep breaths. So glad you guys are here. So, if you want to just enjoy the twist, you can rock the pelvis forward and back. If you want to do a little oblique work, the side body, you can leave the feet down. Nice. Or you can come up. If some of you have been doing this a while, level three, the people have been practicing with me for a while, you can extend the legs out of the diagonal. Just a lot of choices here. The most important thing is staying in the body and using that breath. Exhale as you lift. On the effort, just like a weight lifter, that's always when we exhale. Nice, last two, beautiful. And let's keep the knees to the left, bring the left foot out from underneath and put it on the right knee. Arms back to the left, stretch the arms to the right. So let's take a deep, deep breath here, eyes closed. What happens? when you gently push your pelvis forward, more to the left. Can you feel that right hip flexor opening? Listening to your body. 
So if you're tight here, especially in the IT band, I know some of you guys are athletes, bikers, rowers, runners. You might want to just stay here a little longer and join us later because this IT band often gets very tight. If you're ready to move on, we'll keep that left foot right where it is, pigeon on our back. So I, I do, especially since you're in the, in the comfort of your own home, I really invite you to listen to your body and stay longer in an asana if your body says to. If it tells you to shift out into something else, follow, follow your body. That's, that's the key. Because you have to live inside your own body, right? So it's more important that you get to know your body, know what your body needs, what helps it thrive. It might be more active. A lot of you, it might be more relaxed. That's okay. Trust that. So you can stay in pigeon, just an option. A little crunch. Keep that right leg up. Or level two, you guys extending that right leg. Listen to your body. So again, people in this class, we practice in San Rafael. We've been practicing together, I'm afraid to know, I think it's 20 years. So don't feel like you have to do everything or you can. Just feel free to listen to your body. God, it's probably been more than 20 years. I don't even, <laughs> that's a scary thought. So exhale on your lift. Again, it's like an accordion. And you're squeezing the air out as you lift. That's it. Last one. Let's bend the right knee, everybody. So we're going to come up to half a bridge. You want to lift the pelvis up. Open up that left knee. Again, closing your eyes, feel that internal body. See if you can isolate the right glute. You can even lift the toes, the right toes, if you want, off the mat. Just for a breath or two. You want to get to know this right glute. <laughs> can you even touch it? It's okay. It won't hurt you. Good. And we'll drop and lift. Trying to isolate that right glute. You could drop those toes down. Good. If some of you want more, extend that left leg at a diagonal. This is a good time to connect with your core also. Open the mouth. Exhale, guys. You can scream it out, especially if no one's home at your house. Make some noise. That will give you power. Exhale it out. Last two, beautiful, nice, and slowly, this time we're just going to cross the right leg all the way over the left, okay? Like you're sitting in a chair, you can pull the knees in. If some of you want to eagle, depends on your flexibility. I know for a lot of you that's a lot harder, don't feel like you have to do that. Maybe it's more comfortable not wrapping that foot around, you decide. Close your eyes. Use your body weight to massage your back into the mat. Rock your head side to side. I don't know about you, but I always tend to get a lot of neck tension. You can even massage your neck if you like. Really. Give yourself some loving energy here. Inhale some positive, loving breaths here. Nice. So again, you're welcome to stay here. Another option is to eagle the left arm under the right and a small crunch. That's it. So eagle crunch, just an option. Breathe it out. Or just rock side to side. Find your breath. Nice work, everybody.
and slowly let's release the left leg off the right let's pull the knees as wide as we can towards the chest and rock the head rock the body nice make it feel good for you good chin to chest we're going to rock a little forward and back forward and back good and we'll come right up to navasana boat pose nice if you can hold the hands behind the thighs if that's too much for you the knees can be bent arta we can lift the arms good everyone again focusing on their body if you have a strap and you prefer to use a strap you can do that beautiful nice you guys hang in there we're more than halfway through class breathe it out and tabletop so we're going to bring the feet right under the knees drop the head back and we're going to give ourselves a little neck massage here as we shift the weight feel your shoulders try to find a way to make this feel good into the neck and shoulder area open the mouth audible exhale everybody ah, let me hear you I know some of you are really far away up in Oregon, over there in New York. Let me hear you. Arizona, Nashville in the house. Good, we, let's drop it down. Good, and we'll go right into a squat, right into Lavasana. So I know a few of you have had knee surgeries. Okay, don't worry about it guys. It's okay, use a wall. Can you find a door or wall to go up to? And once you get there, see if you can find a way that it works for you. Maybe open the feet a little wider. Again, make sure wherever you're at, the knees aren't in front of the heel. Another option is a pillow. So hopefully you have all your props nearby. I've told you all, you guys, my entire living room is a gym. I have an erg over there, weights, rollers. We don't eat anymore. We just work out in the living room. That's the, the new way. We have to eat outside where there's more room. Okay, let's close our eyes. Kind of joking a little, not much really. So happy to see you all. You make my day, so glad you made it. Let's soften the soles of the feet. You find a way that serves you. Again, a wall is fine, a door. And I will recommend if you have a roller or pillows to have those nearby, because now we're gonna go slowly in Hoshimotanasana. Okay, so that's legs straight down the mat. So I'm on, I'm on two pillows, okay? You might want to be on three pillows. Let's reach for our strap. Is this too many things for you guys to keep track of here? So if you can, grab a strap. Let's bring that strap up. Again, just close your eyes once you know what we're doing. Knees can bend here. I find people get really discouraged with it stretching and opening because they try to lock out their legs i'm a big believer in soft knees good let's let that strap go down the back and up. eyes closed once you know what we're doing this is very freestyle good so if you want to lean left or right you can do that Again, the pillows are the key for you to sit on. If flexibility is an issue, sit on pillows, maybe two, maybe three, and bend the knees. Good, so we're going to go with a little bit of a forward bend, drop the head, have fun with your strap. Good, keep breathing. I'm gonna check you guys out here. Eyes closed, beautiful. Soften those knees, Tim. That's it, Paul, bend your knees a little. Juliet, glad you made it. Soften the knees, everybody. 
You can lean right or left. Just let your head hang. Yeah, try not to pull so hard. Little, play more with micro bending and lengthening in those knees. Bending and lengthening. And feel what you're doing as you shift right or left. Open the mouth. That's it, making it work for you. Welcome, Julie, Susan, Nancy. Deep, deep breathing. Nice turnout, everybody. Make it feel wonderful for you. The more you make it feel good, the more you'll return, and that's the key. If you're ready, you can stay longer or release the strap to the side and we'll come back to Lavasana squat. If squatting is hard, again, use a wall, use the pillows. Don't feel like you have to go all the way down. Close your eyes. We want this to feel good. So maybe you need a wall if this is too much. And slowly we'll lift the hips. If some of you want to go up to crow balancing, feel free to do so. Or forward bend, your choice. You're welcome to use some support under the hands. I really recommend that. Maybe it's a roller. Maybe it's your water bottle. We want to try to work towards that nice long spine. Let the head go, soften the soles of the feet. Audible exhale for you. Now again, I'm seeing locked out knees, micro, there you go, micro bending and lengthening. I love this, I can spy on every one of you. Shake out your head. Soften the soles of the feet. Bring your awareness, like a meditation, to the soles of your feet and see if you can relax the balls of the feet, the heels. And then once you relax the soles of the feet, actually that's when the stretch can begin. But you have to let go of the gripping. Shake out that head again. Try to find your way to make this feel phenomenal. Maybe it's dipping a little forward. Maybe it's rocking a little back. Maybe it's leaning gently into one of your hips. This is freestyle right here. Soft knees though, soft knees. Good, let's bring the left hand to the center of the mat. Bend the left knee and let's open up the right arm. So push off on the left hand on the mat. If some of you, that's too hard to reach the mat, you can use some support. It doesn't have to be a block. Feel that twist. Keep this right leg soft too. Good. Let's switch. Right hand to the mat, left arm up. Bend that right knee deeper than the left. Make it feel good for you. Bend both knees so we're not locking out that left leg. Good, and drop both hands back. Let's interlace the hands behind the back. I know this is a long time to bend. Just let the head go. Pull the arms overhead. Make this feel great into the neck and shoulders. Audible, exhale. It. and slowly we'll walk the hands forward for downward dog so this is a relaxed downward dog now if you've had enough bending forward you guys just go into child's pose that's okay or we'll start to just gently tread out the heels find your breath shake out the head Nice, and let's all drop to child's pose. Let's all meet in child's pose here. Let's 
Let's draw the breath right through the center of the forehead. Just let yourself drop into your body. We can walk the hands over to the right. If some of you want deeper upper arm opening, you can always use a block or roller under the hands. If you want to open up into the triceps. Feel what you're doing. And you can slowly, when you're ready, walk the hands to the left. Feel your neck, feel your body. I like to shift my body weight over to the left when I'm on the left side, left the hip shift, just exploring. Maybe to the right. Again, this is a feeling class. We want to feel the internal body. Let's come back to center. You can remove your block, come up to all fours. Cat, cow, eyes closed. So we're arching and rounding. But we're, more importantly, we're feeling the shoulders, the lower back bringing the breath. You can circle the hips. So this is totally freestyle, everybody. Find your way to make it feel right for you. Staying with your breath. Nice, everybody. You can stay right there, just an option, lifting the right leg, flex a foot to the sky, a little lift. Or you can stay in cat cow if you prefer. And then let's extend the left arm, extend the right leg, straight out. So the right palm is on the mat, left arm straight out. If you want more, reach back with the left hand for the right foot. Nice, you don't have to do that. Again, another option is just reach in opposite directions and release the left palm down. Right leg to the sky, we're flexing the right foot. As you do this, connect with your core. Again, feel the muscles, feel the back of that left leg. Good, and then we can extend the right arm. Let the head face down, extend the left leg. So just stay here or reach back with the right hand for the left foot. Nice. Breathe it out. Good. Drop that left knee. You can go back to child's pose or let's hover in plank. If you don't want plank, choose child's pose. Good. We can tread out the heels. And again, I've showed that version where you gently drop one knee at a time. You can put no weight on it or a lot of weight. That's it, feel the stretch in the calf. And let's all meet in downward dog. Shake out the head, push through the arms. Deep breath, you guys. We're three quarters of the way through the class. So just hang in there with me. I know that we do a little bit of push here. Just be patient with your body as we bend and lengthen. Maybe rock the hips side to side. You can always pace yourself, drop into child's pose at any time. Good, if you're new to class, just stay here. Level two, you're gonna lift that right leg up. And bend the right knee. Try to sink the left heel. Push through the arm bones, head towards the left leg, everybody. And let's step the right foot forward. So it's low lunge. Nice. Close your eyes, come back in your body. Let's drop the left knee, everybody. Let's just drop it and let the body sink. If you need blocks, that's another great tool. 
where you can always have pillows under your hands if this lunge is really way too hard for you. Nice. We can lean left and right. Go back inside, letting go of the thinking and the external and find a way that this asana can serve you. You might have to do it completely differently. It's more important that you feel and open your body than do it in a way that just looks perfect because it's more about how it feels in your body. Nice, let's slowly curl the left toes under and we're gonna go right into crescent lunge. So we're gonna use our core. We've been doing this for a little while. Left foot is behind you, bend the right knee. Good, let's extend the arms to the sky. So look down at your feet and make sure your all 10 toes are facing forward, but you don't want a straight line. The more you walk the foot a little, the right foot a little to the right and the left a little to the left, it's gonna be easier on your balance. If you can open your legs even wider apart, that helps actually in the stability. Good, let's reach up, breathe it out. How are you guys doing? Virtual high five, virtual high five. <laughs> Good, let's inhale, I miss seeing you all. Let's lean to the right in real human form. That day will come. Let's bring the right hand to the left. So we've been doing this for a little while now. We're getting used to this twist. Breathe it out, left hand to the sky. Feel what you're doing, gaze over the right shoulder. Try to find a way so it's not so awkward for you, maybe straightening the right leg a little. Slow and controlled, we're gonna open up for warrior two with the right knee bent. Look down at your feet. Again, line up heel to heel or heel to arch. Roll the shoulders. Nice to see you. Ah, deep positive breath, everybody. And slow and controlled. Let's reverse. Gazing up. Again, here, see if you can feel your core muscles. The more we start getting familiar with these muscles, the more control we'll start having over all the different asanas. Let's Bring it slowly into side angle. Nice, and reverse. Good, beautiful. And back to crescent lunge. So now we're gonna face back into the right leg in front again. Good, slow and controlled. And we're gonna come up slow and controlled into standing tree. So we'll bring the left Foot up. Now, if that's too hard, you can lean against a wall or you can have the left toes down on the mat and just go up to the ankle. You can grow your tree. Stay in your body. And slow and controlled, we're gonna kick it back for warrior three. Left leg goes back, airplane the arms. Left leg is lifted. Nice, slow and controlled. Let's open up for goddess. Beautiful, everybody. So we'll sink and lift. If you have weights, this might be a time you wanna use some weights. Anything goes. Again, this is freestyle. Use your breath. Beautiful. Try to feel the inner thighs as you squeeze back up. Good. And let's turn the toes in. Arch it back, everybody. Audible exhale. Push the pelvis forward. Beautiful. Feel it. Make some noise. And slowly hinge forward. Good. Turn those toes in. Feet wide apart. We're going to bend and lengthen. You can alternate bending knees. Shake out the head.
Nice. Again, if you want some blocks here or a roller, if it's hard for you to reach to the mat, you can always use any support you like. You can lunge right or left. Good time to explore your body. Shake out the head, let it release. Let's bring the left hand over to the right foot. Bend the knees, right hand to the sky. Soft knees, you can bend as deeply as you like. Let's bring the right hand to the left. Breathe it out. Nice, and slowly rotate both hands to the top of the mat. Go ahead and step that left foot right foot back to the left. Nice, and we'll gently go right into Chaturanga. So we're gonna bend the elbows, coming forward. Nice, up into Shalavasana. So we're gonna lift the arms and legs. Once you know what we're doing, close your eyes. Feel the back side of the body, you guys. Just a couple more minutes. Stay, hang in there with me. Lift it up, open the mouth, audible exhale. Ah, stick out the tongue. Ah. Nice, stay here or bend at the knees for bow pose level two. Everyone lifting, you guys can do it. Two more breaths, we're done. Two more breaths, a little bit higher, kick up into the legs, kick up. And right ear to the mat. Beautiful, you can reach away for the legs. Feel your heartbeat. Nice, gently legs down the mat, hands under the shoulders. Let's inhale, close the eyes, push off with the palms. Again, we're not gonna try to come up too high. Let's say just 50% of our upward facing dog and let's gently twist right or left. Feeling your shoulders, your back. Good, bend the knees and open the knees wide for child's pet. Stretch it way out. Good, if some of you want more, you can do child's pose push-ups or downward dog push-ups or just stay right here. Enjoy this. Deep, deep breathing. And let's all curl the toes under. Go back into downward dog. Shake out the head. See if you can rock the hips a little, the soft knees. Find a way that this serves you. Make yoga serve you rather than you serve it for whatever your body needs. Nice, staying here if you're new to downward dog or level two. This time lift the left leg to the sky. Sink that right heel to the mat. You can bend the left knee. Feel that opening. And let's all gently step the left foot through. Good, and today we're gonna drop the right knee. If you prefer a lunge, you don't have to drop the left knee. The right knee, sorry. Again, once you know what we're doing, come back inside your body. Use your support. So I know a lot of you need height. This is a good time to have that chair in front of you. So you can put your hands on the chair. Roller blocks. And slowly step the right foot halfway in, halfway in. Good, and we're gonna come up to crescent lunge. So gaze down at your feet, make sure all 10 toes are going in the same direction. That's it. Lift the chest, beautiful. Okay, here's a key, push back 
through the right heel and open the feet a little bit wider. Nice. If you need to straighten and bend that left knee a little, play with that. Let's lift the arms to the sky. This time, lean to the left. Relax the neck. Let that left hand fall to the right thigh. And we're going to stretch that right arm straight to the sky, gazing over the left shoulder. Slow and controlled. We're going to open it up for warrior two. So again, you're gonna check your alignment. You wanna bend that left knee, try to spread the feet wider. Roll the shoulders. Heel the heel, heel the arch, whatever you prefer. Try to shine the chest forward. Get, let's reverse. And we'll go into side angle. And engaging all your core muscles here. Push against that left leg. Try to rotate the rib cage open. And reverse. Breathe it out. Gaze up if you can. Gaze down. Find your place. Good. And slowly we're going to come back to crescent lunge. Nice. And we're going to bring our right foot into standing trees. Bring it right into the left thigh. Hands in prayer, heart center. You can grow that tree. If you need to do this against the wall, that's okay. Just get used to balancing a little bit. You can hold on to something if you need to. And gently, we're going to kick that right foot back to warrior three. So gently kicking it back, airplaning the arms out to the side. Try to soften the sole of the left foot that's supporting the body. See if you can lift that right leg a little higher. Beautiful. And we'll open up for goddess last time. Nice work, everybody. Sink and lift. You can reach side to side. Another high five. So glad you guys are all here. Keep the routine. I'm so proud of you. There's so many of you that have been with me since day one of lockdown. So impressive. You've made every class. Stay with it. It's so healthy to have a routine. Good. And let's come up. Inhale. Arch back, open the mouth, and let's hinge forward, shake out the head. Let's interlace the hands behind the head, stretch the neck right and left. Good job, everybody. Bend those knees. Make it feel right for you. Let's walk both hands up to the left foot and bend the left knee for pigeon. If you need to put the roller or a pillow under that left hip, do so. Or you can go back to pigeon on the back, left foot over the right knee. You can never have too much of this asana. Okay, so this is a time to relax, feel the stretch. Nice. You can stay down or hands under the shoulders, slowly making your way up. Close your eyes. Feel your shoulders. You can twist. Level two, you guys can reach for that right foot if you like. Whatever you like. It doesn't matter. You feeling your body. Let's lean to the left. Sweep the right leg up and over. So right leg over the left, gentle spinal twist here. 
if you're on your back, you can just do a spinal twist if you don't want to come back up, unless you want to do pigeon on your abdomen more than your back. But, and right leg over the left, gentle forward bend. If that's too much, you can just lean back. Keeping that right knee bent, we're gonna lean to the right, swing the left leg behind us this time. Pigeon on the right side. Again, you can do pigeon on your back. I know a lot of you have had different surgeries and injuries. Let's inhale some positive, healing, loving energy. Hands under the shoulders, slowly coming up. You can reach back for that left foot or just roll the shoulders, eyes closed. So again, I want you to feel this. And let's all lean to the right. Let's sweep the left leg up and over. Hook the right elbow this time. Gentle twist. So again, if this is way too much for you guys, you can always have those pillows nearby. Pillows make all of these asanas possible. Let the right leg just be on top of the left. You can sit tall or last little forward bend here. Oops, sorry, drop my head down. And we're gonna gently roll back for a quick shavasana. So don't, don't leave me yet. Give yourself this one minute to fully inhale the benefits of your practice. All your energy fields are open. Gently placing both hands on your heart chakra. Let's dedicate our practice to someone else today. You're welcome to just stay here in Shavasana or gently roll to the side with your eyes closed. Keeping your eyes closed, see if you can find your way to sitting. And we can bring the hands heart center. Thumbs pressing into the sternum. Let's connect with gratitude. Maybe it's just the fact that we are able to be right here, right now in this class. Bowing our heads, namaste. Thank you all. I know I pushed you a little bit harder today because you're getting stronger. I'm super proud of you all. Thank you all for being here. I'm going to open the mics to say hi. 
Um, thank you so much for making it today, everybody. Oh my God, you make my day. I don't know what I would do without, without you all. There we go. There you go. Hi, Wendy. Great class. Who's that? Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Thanks, Wendy. You guys. Great class. Thank you, Wendy. Oh, thanks. thanks. You guys, do you want to meet each other? Why don't you all meet each other? <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Hi. Hey. A lot of you know each other. A lot of you guys. Hi. <laughs> That's great. Hi, everybody. Hey. Hi, Nancy. Hi. Hi, Nancy. There's Nancy. Hi. I love it. Hi, I'm Anita's sister, Hi, Wendy, Nancy. in Sacramento. Hi, yeah. <laughs> someone from Nashville. Hi, Beverly. Hi, Nancy. Jessica did part of the class with me. Oh, hi. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Thanks for the floor. Thanks, Wendy. Great class. Thank you, Wendy. Head up to water. <laughs> so glad to see you great. all. You hi, Wendy. Oh, good. Come, come on a Wednesday. If you want to email, email me with anything you like, Sally, anything you like, Hi, you guys, feel free Hi. to email me. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Go nice to see everyone. everyone. Okay, I don't know why. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, Wendy. Bye, thank you. Oh, so good to see you, Casey. Good to see Hi, you, too. Thanks. You're the best, as always. Hi, Wendy. Oh, talk to you soon. Yeah. It's, okay, yeah. It's I'll wonderful. Talk to you soon. Thank you, thank sweetie. You guys. Thank okay. you. Thanks, yeah. Bonnie. Thank you. Love you. Thank, thanks, Tr thank you. Thanks, Tracy. So good to see you. Thank you, sweetie. I appreciate Is it. Is this your first one here? Have you taken it before? You know what? I went through a little bit. No, so this was my first that I completed. So this is Oh, perfect. yeah. Well, that's how you can always do partial. That's okay. But yeah. it is nice to give that gift to yourself. To oh, it was one whole class. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. So oh, yeah, we'll talk, like, off, we'll talk offline, let these people get a chance. Yes. Me. And I left you a message a few days ago. I don't know if yeah. you got it. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll respond. <laughs> okay. All right, honey. Okay. I figured. Right. <laughs> Some, uh -huh. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hi, Susan. Oh, I see. There she is. <laughs> oh, look at her. I like her wild hair. Oh. Look how long your hair is. <laughs> Oh, your oh. mic's on, uh, mute's on. Is it not letting you unmute? It's funny, sometimes there's certain people that it doesn't let unmute, but I'll, I'll unmute you privately. Hang on, let's see if that helps. Uh, unmute. It always mutes Tim too, which is very ironic, right? Now, I'm unmuted, both you guys. There she is. Okay, I unmuted Tim too. There we go. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's kind of a power thing he gets to control people. <laughs> that was a good class. I needed that. Really it wasn't too hard because I know I really pushed it more than norm. It no. was it was okay. It was it wasn't good. Hard at all. Oh, good. Not hard at all. No, I didn't think so. I thought it was just right. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was a little more maybe go, go, go than I normally do. Well, I like I that. I like that myself, but I'm not sure what everybody else. It, I think it depends on the day, you know, some days you feel yeah. like some days you don't. Right. It was a good class, Wendy. Oh, good. Thanks. I, mean, I like I had around that, you know, some days are more stretched, others are a little more challenging. It's okay, good. good. Okay, good. Well, I'm starting to feel so much stronger in a different way because I'm normally I do all the rowing and erging and I'm so burned out by the time I come to yoga that it's just stretch. But now I'm really, I'm liking just focusing more on the yoga and uh, I feel stronger in a different way. My whole body feels so much stronger than just parts of my body. You know, I do too which is weird. I'm not sure why, but I do, I think I'm actually exercising more now than I used to mm -hmm. than I was yeah. before. Yeah. Well, I I take, it does your whole body 
you know? Yeah. Yes. You can mm -hmm. make it as hard or as, you know, challenging or light as you want, which is what I, is nice too. Yeah. Depending I'm on also your, you go ahead. Oh, I'm just saying, I also do a power yoga every single day. And normally I don't oh. do that because I usually kind of try to break up the workout. But I think my body is happier doing yoga all the time than, um, than all that other killer stuff too. I may still hike and earn, but not like I normally do. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm going to head to the store and get the girls some food. Good. Good. Look at that. Yeah. How's your tooth, Wendy? Is, are you, you know, going back? I was okay last night. I Good. was okay. Good. Isn't I an escrow. Pardon me, Susan? Oh, I think my music's still on. Don't you have your permanent tooth on? In? I finally got the permanent crown, but the problem is uh, it was hitting my bottom tooth. And I for, for three nights, I was in a lot of pain and oh. had to take, you know, Advil's. But last night, I was okay. So maybe it pushed up. He told me, just try to give it a yeah. few days. You might find it. He didn't want to file it. He didn't. It's a really nice crown. It's really pretty. I've had that happen with crowns where I did have pain for a few days. You're right. And, and, and it went away. Yeah. And the pain though wasn't on the tooth. It's on the, the one it's hitting below. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Have you had that ever? I don't remember where the pain was to tell you the truth. I just had some pain and they said it should go away. And it took a little while. I would say a good mm -hmm. week, but it did go yeah. away. Yeah. Yeah. If you have a good dentist, Dental. they know what they do, they're doing. Can you imagine in the old days when you couldn't go to a dentist or the, the amount they of pull, pain? They would pull your teeth out. Just yeah, out. that's all you could do. Yeah, get rid of the nerves. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Without so, anesthesia. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you guys, I want to tell you, I actually, um, I'm going to hang on. I'm recording this. I better unrecord it now that I think about it. Um, Let's turn that off. Okay. 